I'm here with Simon from Cinemechanica, and they've got a, an interesting uh, alternative to the laser story. They've actually got a, a retrofit uh, installation that fits into which projectors do they fit into? Uh, it will fit with any uh, DLP projector, Series 2. Series 2? Series 2. So series two. that would include Christy, NEC and Barco? Barco. Exactly, exactly. And so what we've got here, it's a 6P laser in here? Yes. So this is a retrofit kit based on the 6P uh, laser uh, unit, okay? So we have two red, two green, two blue in a different length weight. Yep. So mixed up together in a fiber optic that goes directly on the projector integrator rod. That is obviously TI product, so it's, it's the same for each uh, of the three brands we, we mentioned before. Okay, cool. So this this here is the actual fiber. Yes, actually. Yes. And it, it you know, I'll have a quick look at fit. Okay, I can see it actually fitting right in there to where you would have the integrator, etc., yes, going so into it's the a mechanical fitting. That's right. It's and, a mechanical fit. and so, um, what's the sort of um, hours you would get out of this? Uh, how many hours usage? Uh, it's about thirty thousand hours. So this is uh, one of the advantage of the, the laser unit. Actually, uh, uh, running costs are re uh, really decrease with this kind of uh, uh, technology. First of all, 30,000 hours, and the second is 50% 50, uh, 50 less ener energy consumption than an equal uh, xenon bulb uh, with the same light output. But uh, the problem of the xenon is that the beginning you have 100% of uh, light, but it decay about 50% at the end of, uh, of this life. But with laser, with this laser, you have always the same light output. So the efficiency, energy efficiency is much more than 50% actually. So, so at the end of the 30,000 hours, we're, we're still far higher than 50% light output from the same projector? You, you will have, uh, you are at, the, at the end of the 30,000 hours, you lost only 20% of light. Okay, so down to, okay, cool. That's good. That's a good reading, yeah. Yes. It's a very uh, low decay. Yes. Actually, yes. Now, is there any um, effect on the contrast ratio or uniformity actually, from using this? Actually, no. Uh, on the contrast, we, nothing changed because we don't yeah. change anything in the engine of the projectors. Yes. It's a very basic, uh, easy retrofit. And, but on the uniform, on uniformity on the screen, of course, we gain a lot in compared to Xenon. Xenon, usually you have 100% in the center yes. of the screen and 75 on the corner. With this solution, you, are, you achieve 95% on the corner. So it's a great uniformity on the screen. And this is important to say because uniformity is especially of, uh, especially, uh, it's an important issue when you're using 3D and you've got silver screens where you're already getting problems with um, hot spotting in the middle. So the fact that you'll actually not have that drop to 70% on the outside and only 90% really uh, combats that combats that issue. So that's a nice thing coming with laser. So um, is there anything else you want to say before we sure. get? The other uh, big advantage of laser in, um, in terms of uh, uh, projection is the wide color space game that we can reach with the 6P. Actually, everybody can see on, that there is something new on the, on, the, on the screen. All the audience can see that the, the, the image is much more colorful and much more nice because uh, it respond, we respond much, much more on the color than on the resolution. So when we show to our customer, the first things they ask is, it is a 4K projectors, even if we were projecting with a 2K. So they really see that it was something different on the screen, even if it was a standard 2K projector. Of course, this can be a retrofit uh, solution for 2K on 4K pro projection. We don't difference between the, the 2K and 4K. Is this available now or is it in the future? It is available now. We already installed uh, several units, uh, starting from 2015, uh, already four units has been installed, but we installed one in 2013, it was our test bed uh, in Venice, uh, so it is still running, so it was, we learned a lot from that installation and now it's ready for the market, after two years of test bed. Well, thank you, Simon. Um, thank you very much for showing us another laser. It's very much the year of the laser this year, so I appreciate your input. Okay, okay this is James. that's all right. This is James Garden, the Cinetech Geek at CinemaCon 2015. Bye for now.